In building roads, one must figure out how steep the road will be. When constructing wheelchair ramps and stairs, slope is a major consideration so that users will have ease in using them. Modern climbers need to consider the slope of hills in order to judge the dangers they might be facing. In business, the slope will tell us whether a particular price offer would give in a big profit to the company or not. The slope is a major component of the equation of the line that will tell us how steep a line is. But how do we determine the slope of the line? Let us define it and have some examples. As mentioned, the slope is the steepness of the line. It is determined by getting the ratio of the rise and the run. The rise measures the vertical change and the run measures the horizontal change. Now, how do we determine the slope of this line? We have some steps to follow. We have here step one, locate two points on the line whose coordinates are integers. Okay, we have these two points here, but we can also make use of this point and this point whose coordinates are also integers. In step two, starting with one point, sketch a right triangle going from the first point to the second point. Say for example, our first point is, this is our point A, and this is our point B. We are going to sketch a right triangle, okay? Then, step three, we are going to, from the first point, count the rise and the run on the legs of the right triangle. Okay. If the rise goes up, it's positive. If the rise goes down, it is negative. Okay. So, from this point going to this point, so we have how many units? We have two units down. So, it, since going down, it's negative. And from this point going to point B, let's count the number of units. We have one, two, three. Okay. Since... If the run goes to the right, it is positive. It is positive. But if the run goes to the left, it is negative. Then after that, we get the ratio. Okay. So we have now the ratio is negative 2. That is our rise and our run is positive 3. Okay. You might be asking me, ma'am, can I make use of this point? And say point C. Then we have point A here. Will we arrive at the same answer? Yes, we will arrive at the same answer. Let me erase this part. Okay. So step one, we are going to locate two points. So we have point A and point C. Starting with one point, sketch a right triangle. Okay. Then, from the point, count the rise and the run. Okay. From this point, going to this point. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it's, it's going down. So, it's negative. And then, from this point, going to point C, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. And it goes to the right. So, it's positive. Okay. So, we have now, get the ratio. We have M is equal to our rise is negative 4. And this is 6. So, we have... We can simplify still 4 and 6. So we have, they're both divisible by 2. So you have negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And 6 divided by 2 is positive 3. The slope is still negative 2 thirds. Then you might ask me again, Ma'am, pwede po bang mula sa point C papuntang point A? Okay, let's try. Okay. So let's have our first, first point would be point C. So, let me erase this part. Okay. So, we have here point C going to point A. So, draw your right triangle from point C going to point A. Count the rise. It goes up 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it's positive. From this point going to point A, we have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 6, and then from the direction is going to the left, so this is negative. So we are now going to take the ratio. Our rise is positive, and our run is negative 6. Positive divided by negative is negative. Then we have 4 divided by 6. Simplifying it, it's still, it is 2 thirds. So, that only means that, we can, we can determine the slope of a line using any two points on the line.
Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, pwede magkaiba-iba kayo ng points na gagamitin but still be arriving at the same um, slope. Okay? How about this line? What will be the slope? Okay, this time you're going to determine some of, say, two points or some of the points. So, we have here, let's have this point here, point A, and this will be our point B. Okay, point A, point B. Okay, let's determine the rise. By, okay, draw first of abala, draw pa ng triangle, then determine the rise. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes down, so it's negative. Then we have 1, 2. We have 2 units going to point B. Since from this point going to this, it's the direction is going to the left, so it's negative. Then we get now the ratio of the rise and the run. So we have negative 4 and negative 2. The slope is negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. Now what if you opted for... What if you opted for choosing point B as, uh, as your first point? Okay. So, let's have point B. Let's start. Draw or sketch a right triangle from point B going to point A. Then, count the rise. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's positive 4. Then, from this point going to point A, we have 1, 2, 2 units going to the right, so it's positive. Then, you get the ratio. We have M is equal to our rise is 4 and our run is 2. So, we have the slope is positive 2. See? Okay? We arrive at the same answer. Now, what if we make use of point C here? Say, so we have point C. Okay. Let me erase this part. So, it will not be difficult to, to look at it. Okay. So, we have point A and point C. Okay. Then, draw or sketch a right triangle from point A going to point C. Then, count the rise. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. The rise is 8. It goes down, so it's negative. Then, from this point, going to point C, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes to the left, so it's negative 4. So, we have now, the slope is still positive 2. Okay? I hope you got it correctly. Next. Now, what is now the slope of the horizontal and vertical line? Okay? This is quite easy. Okay? So, first is, we get the rise. Is there any rise here? Okay? Mukha naman siya nakahiga, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya nakatayo. Ibig sabihin yan, ang rise natin ay zero. Okay? Ano ang run natin? Ang run natin ay, say, given this point, you have one, two, three. Okay, three. The slope is zero. Even if our run is ten, even if our run is ten or one million, still, the ratio or the quotient is still zero. Therefore, the slope of a horizontal line is always equal to zero. Okay? So, the slope of the horizontal line, y equals 4, is zero. And the slope of all horizontal lines is always equal to zero. How about this vertical line? Okay, we take the rise given these two points here. The rise is, we have 1, 2, 3, okay? It goes down, so we have negative. And how about the run? Meron ba tayong run? Wala, di ba? So, it's 0. Okay. Taking the quotient of negative 3 and 0 is undefined. So, this is undefined. Okay. Now, you might ask me, ma'am, paano ma'am po ang rise niya, ma'am, ay 10? O, sige, 10. Pero ano ang kanyang run? Ang run niya pa rin ay zero. Still, the slope is undefined. Okay? So, therefore, we can say that the slope of any vertical line is always undefined. So, you don't need now to solve. Kung makita kayo yung horizontal line at tinatanong ay ano ang slope ng line, automatically, the answer is zero. You don't need to solve. Kung meron naman kayo makitang vertical line at tinatanong ano ang slope ng line, automatically it is 
undefined. You don't need to solve. So, to sum up everything, and for you to easily remember the slope of the line, notice that, okay, if the line rises from left to right, that is positive. If the line falls from left to right, it is negative. And if the line is horizontal, the slope is zero. And if the line is vertical, the slope is undefined. Okay? So that's it. Okay? Balikan nga natin kanina. Okay. Tandain to. The line rises from left to right, it is positive. And for this line, the line falls from, from left to right, it falls or it fell down. Okay. So, yun ang tandaan natin. Pag umaakyat sa hagdanan, positive ang slope kasi nag-e-exert tayo ng effort. Pag pababa, negative ang slope kasi nabawasan ngayon yung effort natin. Okay? So, I hope you understand our lesson on the slope of the line given its graph. Okay? So, for your skills practice, you have it on page 27 of your book. Okay. Thank you for your time.